Good girl. Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, guys. It's another day at the ranch. So, feeding little Megan. We've been feeding all these guys. Anyway, we've got a surprise for you. We've got some things going on today. So stick with us and we'll let you kind of know uh, some <laughs> of the uh, changes that we've got to the herd. <laughs> Okay, if you want cubes, you gotta go over to the gate. Who's gonna be a smart one? Nobody. Ooh, those those ladies. They might be smart. So far, we've got three troughs ready. No animals. <laughs> Look, a little girl so cute. Someone's gonna figure it out first. Who is it? It's 93. I mean, 92. Alright, so this is Aaron's baby. He's so cute. Our firstborn baby. It's so cute. Not even a week old yet. It's so fluffy. Alright, and just today, 99 had her baby. She's been working on that baby all week. And there it is. Time to close up. Get these guys back into seven. Hi, 99. All right, I'm gonna lash this guy. Hmm, there's our two babies. <laughs> so cute. We've got this closed off. We've been feeding them cubes. We held some back because there's a couple of new little baby surprises for our little itty bitty baby friends. So actually you can see him over here. There he is, or girl, whatever. So numbers 99 and 12 have had their babies. 12 was earlier in the week and uh, 99 had it, I think, last night. So, <laughs> Megan, I know. He just always wants some. <laughs> Have no more. No more. So anyway, they're itty bitty wee, and uh, we need to get you some better footages of that. But you can see one just right there, right next to the corner of the trough. So all these little buffalo babies are smaller, I think, than regular calf babies. I don't know. I think they're... I'll put the correct weight here. But on average, I think they're anywhere from like 50, 60 pounds, maybe 70 pounds at best when they're born. So they're a little bit smaller. That's why buffalo give birth without really needing any help. So they've got small calves. They generally have decent enough hips. So they just give birth. No big deal. The babies are up really quick and they're out and about. So they're pretty fast too. Anyway, you just could sit here for hours looking at these babies. So that is 99. She still has a little bit of afterbirth, but she's going to pass that pretty quick. Just an itty bitty baby. So they're just so cute and fuzzy when they they walk by underneath the mom and it's all cute when they're small. Then they get older and they get ugly. But we're uglier, but I you know, the babies are doing fine here. I'm glad that they're not in and amongst the horde as much as 
you know, they could be. So she's chilling out. We are in fact going to open up that red gate at the far end and let them out into pasture seven. Give them some breathing room and also some extra grass. And uh, anyway, give them some extra room. So we'll do that here a little bit. It's just once we do that, it's going to be harder to get baby pictures. So we're going to have to see what we can do, but let's get some more baby pictures and let them out. your mama. Thank you. All right, yesterday um, we're getting ready to transition the animals and that um, handling gathering pen was pretty grown up again. So we took a minute and opened up the gates and let them in and so we got some good footage of them enjoying that grass as well. So I think it's been a couple really good days for them to enjoy grass. So hopefully you can enjoy some extra footage of them and the first baby, Aaron's baby from yesterday. Oh, here goes the baby! Oh, the little baby! It's our first baby. She was born on Sunday. Yeah, now our goal hopefully is to leave them here a week. The grass hasn't grown that much, considering it's been like four weeks since they've been on here. But uh, we've got some rain hopefully coming this week. It'll kind of let it sprout up higher, but we need to give that other pasture at least a little break. Um, so we'll let them here, let them see what they do, and hopefully have more babies born before it's all said and done with. Okay, adults are moved. Now, of course, we have to move the wee babies. So we babies are coming back to A. It's been about four, six weeks. It doesn't look that great. I mean, it's better. There are some grass. So they've got a lot of weed and stuff that I don't prefer all the time, but anyway, it's something. Okay, we're gonna give C a break. They've been on there a while. And it's just been really dry and it's been freaking hot and it's been pushing 100 degrees. We've been breaking records. And anyway, it's just not been raining a lot. This coming week, we're gonna get a bunch of rain, hopefully, right? Maybe even tonight. So, because we have that joint feed, right? I'm gonna close that gate after we get them in here and let's just move all these panels and they will have free rain to all of this and still have access to the hay and everything else. So they don't have to keep moving. All right, smart. Anyway, we gotta get this done and get those little babies over here. Yeah, I can do it. He got off. Bottom one's right here. Let's leave these guys back on it too. Could you scooch a little closer if you can? There you go. Pick it up higher.
I think I'm just going to take these panels apart. Oh. You got that one, Bug? Yeah. You carry these guys inside. Free. Let's just go get them shooed in and get them going. Okay, so we got this new bale of hay and Charlotte earlier in the week brought it and she put two of these troughs side by side and dropped the hay. So it is kind of leaning a little bit to the one side, but two bales or two troughs keep it a little bit off the ground. Again, I haven't built a hay feeder. There's plenty of other crap to do, so that is way down my list. Right now that actually keeps it up off the ground a lot better than a lot of other things. We're just using this when we get the time, the energy and the desire. We'll do something else but a lot of times they just eat this grass they don't consume this hay very fast at all it goes like four weeks before we even have to do anything so we're gonna leave them here at the pen and see how they do so this new crop here we've got babies right and i know some of you guys have griped about proper terminology whatever i don't give a grats whatever about that right they're babies but since we now have two babies over on the other side we're gonna have to graduate these guys to full-fledged yearlings so that means it's a calf that is typically past the processing time past six months till about 18 months or so and then it's two it kind of becomes like adultish I've never gotten a straight answer out of anybody about technically when the exact time frames are so these guys have survived congratulations they're a year old they are now officially yearlings is that better for you <laughs> anyway follow me Okay, so what I wanted to show you just here is we've been feeding them sweet feed, that all stock. We're gonna stop that. Um, usually I would do this for the first winter, okay? Now obviously we got way late with that. We didn't even separate them until March, the very beginning of March. So that was already past the winter. So that was not ideal. That's not what we want to do. However, we've left them on this sweet feed, a high protein kind of meal to kind of help transition to hay, you know, some of that, but also just to give them some other supplementation. I don't mind doing some supplementation on the babies when they're around that six month to nine months, about a three to four month window. That would have ended at the beginning of April. Since we were late, we're changing it up. They're old enough, they can transition, they can eat hay, they can eat grass, there's no problem with that. So we're not gonna feed them all stock, but we are gonna feed them a little bit of cubes. Cubes are 20% protein and a 50 pound sack of all stock compared to a 20 pound or a 50 pound bag of cubes is like 30 cents difference. The cubes though have 20% protein and the all stock only has 12. Um, I think actually this stuff was 13. So anyway, price per protein percent, we get a lot more with the uh, cubes. So they can transition to that. We're gonna start doing that. We're probably gonna get rid of this and just use other troughs and so forth. But anyway, that's an update on the feeding. We're gonna let them kind of do mother's nature's work eat our grass and pray for rain guys pray for rain we're just trying to weigh it down so it doesn't keep popping up it's filling up pretty good so we saw over on the edge that there was water coming it was wet over here but they've now since of course been here drinking and it's gone but 
and they'll do that. We just, we didn't know if it was because this was too full or if they had just been splashing about. But uh, we just put these rocks in. I think these rocks kind of have that dye stuff in it, the clay. So I don't know. I mean, realistically, we need to move this, go underground and do everything we want to do. We just need to do that. We're going to keep a watch on that. This is working good. We have seen a little baby sleeping over there, way under. I don't know if you can see it. So some of them have actually been dropping down and uh, yeah, so that's all where they've been going. Otherwise they're just munching the grass, which is good. Hey, we just wanted to give you an update on this. This is, this cow is number 98. She's the one that we darted, gosh, was it three, four weeks ago? Anyway, she was looking pretty bad, but goodness, she looks good. I would almost say she's pregnant, to be honest with you. So 98, like, to see she looked bad, you could see on the, her back end, her like the pointy ends of her pelvis, and it just looks so bad, and it's all smooth now. I feel like that's where you're like, wow, this animal's done a huge change. I think you're backlit. I don't know if I can Aww. see your face at all. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> tons of change, looking good. She just goes to show, if you give them the medicine, um, It works. They'll rebound and especially, you know, you say this grass is whatever quality and we don't give them all sorts of supplementation. I don't have wagons out here with tons of feed for free choice, whatever it is. Um, she's rebounded really fast, so I kind of even think she's pregnant. But anyway, yeah, the 98 is looking good. Let's see if we can find a baby. There's a baby. Thanks for joining with us guys. We just moved some pastures today. Nothing too strenuous, nothing too big, but we did get two new babies. So we welcome them to the herd. Uh, officially, they will not be named, <laughs> generally. And uh, we'll see how they go. But in the meantime, we've got our yearlings to keep us busy and everything's good. So we hope you have a good day guys. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.